Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot one real-time issue. See, in this scenario, problem is headquarter users are not able to communicate with branch office users, right? So this is my headquarter. Here you can see, and this is my branch office, right? In headquarter, I have one PC. PC1 and in headquarter I am running this network 10.1.1.0 slash 24. In branch office I am running this network 20.1.1.0 slash 24 and IP address of PC1 is 10.1.1.10 and default gateway is 10.1.1.1. That means I am running this IP address 10.1.1.1 on F0 slash 0 of router number 1. In the same way PC2 IP address is 20.10 and default gateway is 20.1. Means I am running 20.1 on this interface of router 2. First Ethernet 0 slash 0 of router 2. Then both you know branches are connected through ISP. So I am running this public network between ISP and router number 1 15.1.1.0 slash 30 and this network between ISP and router number 2 right 16.1.1.0 slash 30. Here IP address on ISP side is 15.2. Here IP address is 15.1. Here IP address is 16.1. Here IP address is 16.2. Then we have one you know GRE channel as well between router 1 and router 2 for the communication between headquarter and branch offices as you know by default two private network cannot communicate with each other through public network right so here we need to you know create one virtual private network between r1 and r2 our public network so we have one tunnel gre tunnel and on gre tunnel i am running network 192.168.1.0 slash 24 on router number one on tunnel interface of router 1 i am going to i have configured this ip address 192.168.1.1 and on router number 2 tunnel interface i have configured this ip address 192.168.1.2 now <coughs> problem is pc1 is not able to ping pc2 or you can say headquarter users are not able to communicate with branch offices so we need to find the issue and then we need to troubleshoot it okay guys so let me first verify the problem from pc number 1 i am going to ping pc2 first to check really pc1 is not able to ping pc2 you can see i have access of all devices here ping from pc1 i am going to ping 20.1.1.10 and you can see i am not able to ping right i am getting timeout request timeout message from my default gateway right now what can be the problem so for that definitely i need to check the configuration of r1 and r2 right from r1 first of all public ip address should be reachable like like from r1 r r1 from r1 this public ip address means the ip address which is running on router number 2 is 16.1.1.1 so this ip address should be reachable from r1 and from r2 15.1.1.1 should be reachable right so let me verify it guys from r1 from router number one and on router number one you can see we have some log messages as well right some error you can see eigrp neighborship is flapping right eigrp neighborship is flapping it's coming up and going down okay and then tunnel one temporary disabled due to recursive routing so there is problem of recursive routing okay so with the help of log message we have find the problem right problem is problem is recursive routing here we have problem of recursive routing and you will understand uh, what do you mean by recursive lookup right why here tunnel interfaces are not up i think so ip interface brief we can say exclude unassigned you can see here tunnel interface is not showing right tunnel interface is not showing so ip interface so ip interface brief so we have tunnel interface here you can see but tunnel interface line protocol is down line protocol of tunnel one interface is down on router number two also so ip interface brief here you can see tunnel interface status is also up and line protocol is also up but on router number one we are able to see tunnel line protocol is down let me check the configuration of tunnel interface guys so run interface tunnel one we can check the running configuration of tunnel one interface here you can see IP address on tunnel 1 interface is 192.160.1.1 submit mask is 255.255.255.0 this is correct right tunnel source is serial 2 slash 0 this is also fine tunnel source will be serial 2 slash 0 and tunnel destination is 16.1.1.1 so tunnel configuration is correct on router number 1 right on router number 2 so run so run interface tunnel 1 
so on router number 2 also you can see IP address is correct tunnel source interface is correct tunnel destination IP address is correct right now from router number 1 let me ping public IP remote public IP address means tunnel destination 16.1.1.1 and you can see I am able to ping 16.1.1.1 so IP EIGRP neighbor so we don't have EIGRP neighborship we can verify EIGRP configuration also but from here from router number 1 I am able to ping 16.1.1.1 means remote tunnel IP address from router number 2 also let me ping 15.1.1.1 so you can see both public IP address are reachable with each other both public IP addresses are reachable with each other now see again we have EIGRP neighborship so IP EIGRP neighbor you can see but Q count is 1 so actually EIGRP neighborship is flapping over here now what can be the reason let me verify it let me check what is reason over here see <coughs> I am able to both public IP addresses are reachable with each other right let me check so IP route in the routing table we have default route towards ISP on router number 2 on router number 1 also so IP route we have default route towards ISP but as EIGRP neighborship is down we are not able to see 20 network in the routing table of router 1 and we are not able to see 10 network in the routing table of router 2 but through tunnel interface we have to exchange through EIGRP we have to exchange these prefixes right 10 prefix should be there in the routing table of R2 and 20 prefix should be there in the routing table of R1 right but because of EIGRP neighborship we are not able to see any you know network through EIGRP so what I can do I can check EIGRP configuration so IP protocol maybe there is some misconfiguration in EIGRP so so you can see here I am performing routing for 10.1.1.0/24 which is my LAN interface and I have advertised tunnel interface so here EIGRP looks like fine right EIGRP configuration is fine on router number one we have advertised tunnel interface and LAN interface in EIGRP or we can run this command also so IP EIGRP interface so you can see EIGRP is running on tunnel 1 interface as well as on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so on R1 configuration is fine we don't have any problem till now okay on R2 also I have to verify EIGRP configuration so IP protocol so IP protocol so here you can see we are performing routing for 16.1.1.0 slash 24 network okay by mistake and see here we have advertised WAN interface in EIGRP we have advertised WAN interface in EIGRP 16.1.1.0 slash 24 we are also advertising LAN interface we are also advertising tunnel interface but here we should not advertise WAN interface in EIGRP otherwise what will happen otherwise what will happen guys router 2 will see here this network information 16 network information to router number 1 through tunnel interface through tunnel interface but R, for R1 this network 16 network should be reachable from serial 2 slash 0 right so there is already one default route towards ISP1 by using serial 2 slash 0 interface R2 should not advertise when interface network through EIGRP or through you can say tunnel right so here on R2 I need to remove this command on R2 I need to remove this command so IP EIGRP interfaces you can see EIGRP is running on tunnel 1 interface also fast ethernet 0 slash 0 also and on serial 2 slash 0 also okay so I have to remove this command so run we can say section EIGRP okay I am going to remove this command router EIGRP S yes, number 100 and say no to this command 16.1.1.0 right now so IP EIGRP interface now you can see EIGRP is enabled on tunnel 1 and fast ethernet 0 slash 0 now we have EIGRP neighborship between R1 and R2 let me check so IP EIGRP neighbor yes now you can see Q count is 0 and now let me check routing table so IP dot EIGRP so you can see now I am receiving this network 10, 10 network and exit interface is tunnel 1 interface right in the same way on router number 1 also so IP EIGRP neighbor you can see now we don't have any problem with EIGRP neighborship and so IP route EIGRP so we have now this network in EIGRP routing table with exit interface watch tunnel 1 earlier what was happening guys earlier router 1 was learning 16 network through 
EIGRP on tunnel interface. So exit interface for 60 network was what tunnel interface, right? So if I will talk about the routing table of router one, so there was one route through EIGRP for 16.1.1.0 slash 24 network, right? Exit interface was tunnel one. So what was happening whenever R1 need to encapsulate, whenever exit interface for a network is tunnel interface, right? It will encapsulate GRE header. It will add one extra IP header. In extra IP header, source IP is going to be what? 15.1 source IP, source tunnel IP and destination will be 16.1 tunnel destination IP address right and again when router 1 will check the routing table you can see in the routing table for this network exit interface is tunnel 1 right so router 1 will discard the packet in this scenario router 1 will discard the packet in this scenario so whenever by mistake if you will advertise when interfaces in EIGRP or whatever protocols you are running on tunnel let's say here we are running OSPF so if you will advertise when interface in OSPF then you will see recursive broke routing problem right and to resolve it you can you know follow these step what i have followed in this video okay guys so now you can check we can verify the communication from pc1 again i am going to ping 20.1.1.10 and now you can see i am able to ping now i am able to ping 20.1.1.10 okay and on router number one so ip route so whenever whenever we will ping to 20.1 it will check the routing table in the routing table one entry is here available for exit interface is tunnel one interface so exit interface is tunnel one interface means it will encapsulate gre header and after that it will add one extra ipv4 header in order ipv4 header source ip address is going to be 15.1.1.1 and destination ip address is going to be 16.1.1.1 right again router one will check the routing table because destination is 16.1.1.1 and for 16 network you can see there is no any specific route available for 16 network so it is going to use default route right so for default route exit interface is serial 2 slash 0 so it will forward the packet from serial 2 slash 0 but if this router will run 16 network through EIGRP so then exit interface will be tunnel interface right it will not use default route because in the routing table a specific route is available right if r1 is learning 16 network through eigrp then why r e router 1 will use default route right if 16 network is available then r1 is not going to use default route so now ping is working everything is working fine here right ping 20.1.1.1 source 10.1.1.1 right okay so everything is working fine in this scenario now so guys this was a small troubleshooting of gre tunnel if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching that's all for today